guys, it's Jessica and I'm back and I'm sorry it's been so long. Um, I had to plan my wedding and that just consumed everything. So I wanted to come back really quick and do a tutorial on this lavender eye look I have. And it's using the new L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows and this one is called With a Twist. And it's gorgeous. It looks like that. And then that's what it looks like. So beautiful and you, these can be applied wet or dry. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, just keep watching. So I'm going to just jump right into it and I'm just going to try to remember what I did on this eye. So I've already done all my face, uh, eyebrows, all that. So what I did was I started out with a milk, the next Jumbo Pencil in Milk and just put that on my eyelid. It helps like colors pop, especially I find it helps with purple. So I'm just gonna use my ring finger and spread that out. Okay. All right, then I am going to take the Naked palette, the first one, and I'm gonna go in with a Real Techniques um, domed eyeshadow brush. It just looks like this. And I'm going to go into the color uh, Buck. And I'm just going to put that all over the crease. And I'm going to kind of go a little bit under and above the crease just to give it that, a blown out look. So, just like that. I just want to use uh, windshield wiper motions. So my wedding was so beautiful. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, you totally should. Uh, if you go there, you can see all or a lot of the majority of my wedding pictures. And it was so beautiful. My mom made the dress. It was a handmade dress, and it was just absolutely stunning. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the um, L'Oreal shadow with a twist, and I'm just going to take my finger to begin with and just get like a good amount on there like that. I'm just gonna kind of pop that on the eye lid. I just feel like with these shadows sometimes if you use your finger it uh, it just shows up a little bit better. So I got that, and then I'm going to go back in with the same brush with no additional product and just kind of blend that in together. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take um, an e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. It's just a little flat brush like this, and I've already used it, and I just sprayed a little bit of the NYX Dewy Finish. Just any setting spray will work or just water is fine too. And I'm going to go back into the shadow and grab a good amount on the brush. Then I just like to pull my eye taut like that and then just kind of almost press it on and then you can see like how vibrant the color gets. This is such a pretty like lavender color and it's got like a blue like duochrome. So pretty. Okay. So now that I've got that, I go back in with that same brush with no additional product. Just kind of do the same thing. Just want to make sure there's no harsh lines and everything's blended out really good. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a, I can find the brush, with a, this is just the Urban Decay shadow brush that came with either the Naked 1 or the Naked 2, I can't remember. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Naked Basics palette, and I'm going to take the color Faint, which is just a nice matte brown. I'm just going to get it on there a little bit, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to pat that right on the outer V, and then drag it in to the crease 
just a little bit. Sorry, I hope you guys can see. Okay. So just like that, and I'm going to go ahead and deepen that side out too. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with that same. Actually, I'm going to go in with um, this little Revlon blending brush with no additional product and just blend, blend, blend. Okay. And then you just always want to check that both eyes look the same. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with just this little flat eyeliner brush. This is just a cheapo Walmart brush. And I am going to go back to my Naked palette and grab that color Buck again. And I am just going to drag that on the lower lash line. So now that I've drugged that on the lower lash line, sorry, I'm not in the viewfinder. Okay, then I'm going to take the color faint. Let's see if I can do this where you can actually see me. Okay, uh, do the same thing. Sorry about my weird faces. I just, I just think that everyone does that. It's not just me. That's what I'm going to believe, anyways. Okay, so now I'm going to take this e.l.f. contour brush, and I it's just like a little domed brush, and I absolutely love this for going under your lash line and just like, don't poke yourself in the eye, it's my velvet, and just blending that out. You want to really blend that. And then I also like to go back and just dip a little bit and just darken that up. And then I just like to also connect the lower lash line to the V. And then I always go back in again. Just make sure that is all blended out. Okay, now I am going to go in with this little Eco Tool smudge brush into the Naked palette again, and I'm going to pull this uh, color Sin. It's just kind of like a, I don't know, let's see, it's like a champagne color with like a pinky undertone. It's really pretty, and I'm going to use that highlight the inner corner. I think it's a really pretty inner corner highlight. And excuse my hair, I'm trying to let it air dry. I'm trying to not use heat on my hair as much as possible just to keep it from getting damaged. Okay, and then I like to, once I pop that in, I like to take this little uh, Real Techniques um, base shadow brush and just kind of make sure that's all blended out really nice. And then I take the same brush and go into the color Virgin from the Naked One palette and just drag that on the brow bone for a brow bone highlight. And then I go back to that um, e.l.f. brush and I just pick up a little bit more of that purple just in case we lost any intensity while blending and just pop that back in there. Just like that. Okay. And then just take this uh, same Revlon brush and just make sure there's no harsh lines in there. And that is it for the eyes. 
Um, you could totally put eyeliner on. I'm going to skip the eyeliner for this look. And I'm going to go ahead and just curl my eyelashes. This is just the e.l.f. One dollar eyelash curler. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this Rimmel Scandalize in Nude and run that just in my lower lash line. And I always like to just rub this one on my finger first just to warm it up. And I feel like if I do that, sorry, not in the viewfinder. If I do that, it seems like it just glides on better. Like that. And that just is really going to make your eyes pop. Okay. Now for mascara, I am going to use a mixture of these three, which are L'Oreal Telescopic, Revlon, the new Lash Potion, and my all-time Holy Grail favorite, the All May Get Up and Grow. I just, out of every mascara I've ever tried that just seems to be the one that I always want to go back to okay now I'm going to try to do this and stay in the viewfinder here okay so see how that just like it just like grabs your lashes and coats them all the way without clumping it separates them it makes them longer I just love this mascara. And it's not too expensive. It's only, I think at Walmart it's like $6.99 or something like that. So, not too bad. Okay. And if that happens where you get like a little bit on your eyelid, uh, Q-tip. Wait for it to dry and then, a good tip, and then just smudge it off. Uh, don't try to get it while it's wet. You're just going to smudge it everywhere, ruin your eyeshadow. So just wait for it to dry and then smudge it off. Okay. I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to... I just like to go from the base and then kind of wiggle and then use the tip to separate and then also twirl it, you know, just whatever works for you. Okay. And I just got mascara on my face again. Okay, now I like to go in with the Revlon Lash Potion. I do not like the original, the Girl Luscious, at all. So I was a little hesitant about this because it is by Girl Luscious. But this one is much better. It's kind of got this cool, like, brush, if you can see that. So, and it doesn't clump. Okay. Ooh, getting mascara all over. Look at that. Can you see that? <laughs> okay, now I love, this is my favorite one for just kind of, lengthening through the top lashes and it just kind of if there was any clumping it'll pull it and separate it another good one for that it's always a lifesaver is the cover girl oh, which one is that let's see this cover girl lash perfection that one always saves the day too Okay, and then this is the one I like to use on my bottom lashes because it does have that small wand. Let's see if I can stay in. Sorry, this is awkward. <laughs> Let's see. I might just have to do this off camera. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm like shaking you guys all around. Okay. Sorry, I feel like I'm being really awkward. 
kind of got out of the habit of filming and now I feel like an awkward person. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to take this and I just close it and I just use this top part and I just from the base kind of push them up and hold them. And it kind of just pushes them back up if any of your mascara weighed them back down. And I'm going to go in with this Q-tip and clean up any little mascara dots I have. Okay. That's it, guys. And then, oh, for my lips, what I used was um, Rimmel's New Delight, which looks like this. And then, and it just, on me, it pulls a little too orange. So what I did was I took the Fergie VIP Pink, and I just put that on top of it. So mixed together, it kind of look like that. And it, that's how I got this look. So, um, if you have any questions, um, just let leave them down in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It's free in case you're wondering. And, yeah, just let me know if there's anything I can improve on or any questions. Um, I hope the lighting's a little better. The sun's kind of, like, up and then down. Today, it's not sure if it's going to rain. But here's the final look. And you guys have a great day. Bye.